wow a bird literally just pooped on my car window great what's up guys it's your girl Kalia jazz welcome to or back oh green light hold on um this is actually very dangerous for me to um be driving and trying to vlog slash record my intro for my youtube video but okay take three when I get to the red light. Okay, I clearly can't do this at a red light because today's the day that every red light wants to turn green all of a sudden, fast and in a hurry. So we're gonna actually wait till I get there. Hold on. Yeah, okay, take Three. What's up guys, it's your girl Curlia Jazz. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be using only Dollar Tree hair products to style my natural hair. Right now, I'm at Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and go inside and see what we can find. Okay, so, um, anyways, um, okay, so. Let's, wait, let's make sure we have the wallet because we're not stealing today. Okay, so. Um, I don't really record in public. It's a little weird, but anyways, um, it feels good out here. Y'all, I have not been to this Dollar Tree in ages. Like, I usually go to a different Dollar Tree, but this one's like right by my house. So I'm going to this one. You don't know how to say hey when you walk in a store, it's rude. Mm, one star already. Well, um... Not much to choose from, but we can do what we gotta do. Okay, so I don't really have dandruff. So, um, I see a two in one shampoo and conditioner. I don't really do those though, so. Fun fact, I actually used to use Dollar Tree conditioner. The brand VO5. And they be taxing at Walmart, cause Walmart it be like $2. It's here for $1. Speaking of VO5, I see a passion fruit smoothie shampoo. So I'm gonna get that. I know the shampoo I'm gonna get is the VO5 passion fruit smoothie. Um, I came in here looking for like a shampoo, a conditioner, some type of like curl cream maybe. And oh, I see a mousse too. Hold on, let me pick that up. Um, okay, so I see a Bella Linda hair mousse. So we got that. Let me prop this up. Got the mousse. I see a curl stretch cream. It's really small. I'm only gonna use this one time, right? I don't know. Uh, okay, anyways. I see a shower comb. Okay, hold on, because I've been looking for one of these. I don't even comb my hair, what am I doing? Wait, is that a gel? That's a weird bottle for a gel. Wait, but I see a uh, argan oil styling gel. <laughs> Eco styler could never. I need like some type of edge control. Or maybe I could just use this. Oh, I need a conditioner. Okay, I see a kiwi lime speed conditioner from the same brand, VO5. That don't smell bad. Oh, I see a hair moisturizer. Wow. Don't come vlogging with me in the store. Now we have a basket, like a smart person did when they first came in the store. Gel, check. Shampoo, check. Hair mousse, check. Curl cream, check. Comb, check. Moisturizer, check. Okay. Oh, conditioner. That fell on the floor, check. I hope it didn't bust or anything. We need a smoothing brush and like a detangling brush. This is cute, so I'm gonna get this one. Do you wanna go fancy and get like some hair rollers? What am I doing? My hair's too thick for that. Um, Let's find like a cute scrunchie or something. Truthfully, I don't even see any scrunchies that could even try to hold my hair. Oh, wait a minute, I kinda, but this one got a thread sticking out. I think we're gonna get this one, y'all. I don't know how this is gonna hold my hair, but we're gonna try it anyway. Let's head to check out. Okay, so let me find out. I just spent only $9, almost $10 on hair products for them to actually work. Okay, so now that I have the products, we're gonna go home and put them to use. Okay, before I picked up the camera again, I had to change because it was too hot for all that. But I'm home and we're gonna jump straight into it. So the first thing I'll be doing is washing my hair with the shampoo that I got, which is 
the Alberto V05 Passion Fruit Smoothie. What is the benefit of this anyway, now that I think about it? It's a moisturizing shampoo, so it softens and shines my hair. So we're gonna head to the bathroom and get it rolling. It has been a hot minute since I did a voiceover, but anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair with the shampoo. I didn't put it in my entire head because it does have a sulfate, and sulfates do dry your hair out drastically like Cantu. So if you're using Cantu, stop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and detangle. Um, it didn't really go that well with the shampoo in my hair, so I am gave up, and I'm gonna try again with the conditioner. Now that the shampoo is rinsed out, I'm going to go ahead and add the conditioner to my hair. This actually has some really good slip, and I'm shocked because it's a Dollar Tree hair product, but we can't sleep on Dollar Tree because they're doing good so far. Back in with the comb, and the detangling process went very, very good with this. I'm shocked. Right, look at that. Now I'm going to rinse it out real quick and show you guys what it looks like after it's rinsed out. So the curls are looking pretty good. We love that. Congratulations, Dollar Tree. Alright, so we're back. But before we even get back into all of that, let me just tell y'all how uncomfortable it was to do all of that with a sports bra on. Props to me. I think we should go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel because I had to go through that horrendous experience but yeah my hair is washed conditioned and detangled for the most part uh i don't know how tangled it is under the shirt but we're about to find out okay so okay one thing i want to point out is the fact that one it don't even look that bad like this but I would never and then two my hair smells really good like it smells like a mixture of those two fruits the kiwi lemon lime thingy and the um passion fruit thing but yeah um very much shine I wouldn't say soft for the most part it is but not too much okay but let's go ahead and moisturize it with the Lusty Argan Oil Hair Moisturizer. So we're gonna see what that triple strength be about. It smells like lotion. I'm a little scared. It smells like, what's that lotion that we all used to use? I'm gonna find a picture and put it right there. Um, okay, so now here is moisturized. This really do smell like exactly like argan oil. I'm sorry, y'all, I have a thing where like, hair products to me have to smell good or I'm not gonna buy it or pick it up or even touch it at all. We are going to use this Shea Solutions Pro Stretch Cream. Moisturizes and strengthens to maximize curls. Now let's see what that be about. Oh, now that, that smells good. This is what it looks like. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Let me find out. Cause I know y'all seen that. Like the definition when I put that junk in, I'm gonna show y'all the difference in a second. But first I'm gonna um, brush my hair with this brush I got. You can definitely tell this side is more shiny and that this is like, uh. So I'm gonna do what I did to this side on this side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with both sides done, but I'm actually gonna add a little more of that curl stretch cream on top just to give it like a finished layer.
So let's talk about this curl stretch cream for a little bit. Um, it gives me like hair lotion vibes. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, do y'all know that pink and white bottle of the hair lotion? Um, y'all should know. A lot of you should know what that is. I'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, it gives me that vibe. Like how it feels in my hands gives me like a hair lotion vibe. But um, I have two products left which is the styling gel and the hair mousse. I will be using both of those. And oh, I also have the two scrunchies, which I'll be using for this hairstyle I'm about to do. Okay, wait, before I even like continue to the other side, we're just gonna talk about how this gives me very much my own hair product vibes. Um, yeah, like, yeah, but I just know, <laughs> I just know when this dries, my hair finna be real crunchy because that feels like that jam gel. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but I'll insert a picture, but it very much gives me the stronghold vibe and I'm very scared for my hair right now. But as it's wet, it's doing great. Let's move to the other side. Like, hold on, I am just still shocked at this gel. Like, I might have to run back to the store. Like, not even walk, but run to go get me some more. Cause that literally, like y'all. Now to actually styling my hair. So I'm gonna do two different hairstyles. The first one is going to be a half up, half down. And I chose that one so you could like really see the design of this scrunchie, cause this one is really cute. And it goes on my shirt even though it's just black. But yeah, um, I think it'll be really cute. Well, it, it's cute on my head on how I think it's gonna look, but we'll, yeah, we'll find out. Hold on, I'm itching a little bit. Um, let me find out I gotta be a Karen and call corporate. Okay, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna start doing my edges and I'm gonna go ahead and let you know now, this is not something you should use for your edges. You very much need an actual edge control because before the end of this video, my edges curled up and you'll see that in the second hairstyle that I'm about to do. Photo shoot real quick. Let me go ahead and take some pictures. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from my photo shoot and now I'm going to move on to the next hairstyle. Alright, for the next hairstyle, I decided that I was just gonna do a simple slick back with a zigzag middle part, which I am proceeding to do right now with an edges brush comb part. Um <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it too much, so don't do me in the comments, but yeah, just watch.
You see, I thought I was gonna work out tonight, but after doing this, <laughs> I'm not working out tonight. Just brush out just the front part and just go at it. Only problem I'm having is that this gel isn't like heavy enough to really like lay down my edges for a long period of time. Like they're already starting to curl up and it's kind of making me mad. Not gonna get too mad about it though. So it's Dollar Tree. Um, but yeah, for the most part, yeah. I always get flyaways when I do slick ponytails. So we just gonna use this hair mousse to like really like mold my hair into place. Um, I was only supposed to use a dollop of this, but I put way more than I was supposed to, so I patted some on the top part and then put the rest on the ponytail, which actually worked out in the end for me. Let's go ahead and rate all of these products. So on a scale of 1 to 10, the shampoo was definitely a 10. Um, it smelled good. It really cleansed my scalp. Um, I very much felt refreshed after using it. Like I feel like my pores are like open again from all that product buildup I had. The conditioner was good as well. It smells good and the scent really stayed in your hair after you rinsed it out, which is shocking because it's Dollar Tree. The moisturizer, I'm not a big fan of it because I don't know, like the texture and like the consistency of it was just not it. Like it gave me lotion vibes. Like, I really feel like they put lotion in this bottle instead of actual moisturizer, but we're not gonna do too much. The curl stretch cream, I give it like a seven and a half. We're not gonna do too much on it, but it smelled good. Um, it kind of defined your curls. It didn't really do too much about stretching. They shouldn't have put that big on here. Made it seem like it was that. No, it wasn't. Styling gel, you already know, a 10, because yeah, like one, it smelled good. The only downfall about it, which would probably knock it down to a nine and a half, was the fact that it's not heavy, like it's not a heavy gel. But if you're not looking for a heavy gel, that's the way to go. But um, it's not really like on Eco Styler's level. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> like, yeah, but um, it did like mold my curls and kind of like pop them out a little bit, you know? And I like that about it. And the mousse, um, mousse is just mousse, like, I really feel like they all use the same formula, even though they might have different ingredients on the back. I really feel like they use the same formula. Um, mousse really only does one thing. If I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a 10. These scrunchies, baby girl, baby boy. If you have like a big mane that goes out to here, this is not gonna, the comb is in the shower with the shampoo and conditioner, but it, it did pretty good. Like I give that a 10 as well, because it's like that really detangled my hair. It's wide tooth which is great considering the fact that I have curls and thick hair. The fine tooth combs do not work over here. Then we have the brush. I give this a 10. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna break. Maybe if I would just chill out on the, it wouldn't do that. But yeah, it's a pretty sturdy brush. It's cute, you know, the color is cute. They had different ones. I just, this is the first one I looked at and like caught my eye, so I got this one. So with those rates being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Um, it really was an experience to experience. So I do recommend you go try these products or any products in the Dollar Tree. And if you do, let me know, tag me in it, send it to me, all the good stuff. This is Curly Head Jazz and I'm signing out. Bye.